welcome i hope you'll stick around please hit the subscribe button and join the family and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i haven't done one of these videos before you're obviously here to see what i got for my birthday this year um i was 34 this year and if you're a mom like i am you probably know that birthdays for you now aren't that important birthdays and christmas are all about the kids um and i did if you haven't seen my vlog i'll link it in the description below but i did spend my birthday taking the kids out for a fun day i do it every year and i absolutely love it like i say i haven't done one of these before and that's because I don't really get much exciting for my birthday but I really love watching these videos and I did the what I got for Christmas video so I thought I'd do a birthday one as well just a little disclaimer as I know people always put in these this is not a brag as you will see I get pretty normal standard presents but um, I have had one very special present this year so I'm very excited to show you that but I'm going to save it till the end so don't forget to keep watching all the way to the end uh, because it is quite a big spectacular present well it was for me anyway at the end so yeah not a brag not a look what I've got sort of thing just I'm really curious as to what other people get for their birthdays I love watching these videos and the Christmas one so I thought I would do one so I'm going to start off with a few bits that my friends have got me and then we'll move on to what the kids and my hubby got me and then my best present at the end so first up one of my work pals got me a lovely bottle of wine because who doesn't need a bottle of wine in their life, especially when you're a mum. This is how I like to unwind on an evening, usually just at a weekend, not on a weekday evening. A nice alcoholic beverage, just the one, otherwise I won't be doing anything the next day. So that was very, very much appreciated. Thank you, you know who you are. And then one of my other work colleagues, obviously knows me very very well got me lots and lots of sweeties so i love sweets i love chocolates uh, you can't go wrong can you palmer violets one of my favorites absolutely love them and then she got me some unicorn foams some rainbow laces some super sour snakes and some shrimps and bananas so they are like my childhood sweets and I absolutely love them. So I was really, really happy when I unwrapped those. She also got me this beautiful notebook. I am an absolute stationery nut. Absolutely love stationery. And I love notebooks. And I have way, way too many. Uh, this is just a lined one. It's really pretty. Got lovely floral flowers all over it. And just as notes in gold there. It's got a little ribbon so that I can mark where I am. I use notebooks for work. I use notebooks at home as well, but I do tend to keep them for work mainly, especially big ones like this. So yeah, that will be in my pile ready to use at work to make all my little notes in, make sure I don't forget to do anything. Absolutely love that, love stationery. I'm gonna run out of space on this bedside table. Uh, and then lastly, she got me two little bottles of Whitley Neal Gin. She got me rhubarb and ginger, which is lovely. Absolutely love that one. And then she also got me pink grapefruit, which I haven't actually tried before. So I'm looking forward to trying those. Very nice indeed. Run back out of the way. Then what did my bestie get me? My bestie actually wrote me a lovely little note in my card. I'm going to embarrass her now and just put to the best friend a girl could ask for which was really, really sweet. And then she put, I hope you have a relaxing day. Thank you for always being there and listening, which is just so cute. Thanks for that. Also got loads of cards, by the way, which are just all in my bag. Thank you to everyone who sent me a card. I love getting cards. I love reading all the little bits. And I'll just show you the one that, <laughs> the one that my daughter made for me, which I think this is me. That's meant to be a crown on my head. And it says, love, sleep, mum. So uh, if my cup didn't give it away, which says tired AF, <laughs> I do love my sleep. I'm always sleepy. And there's, that's what she's put, love sleep, mum. And then she's just wrote in there to mum, happy birthday, love from Autumn Chase and Flynn, who are my children. And yeah, so that was really sweet. I love getting cards, especially ones like that, which, uh, which are really meaningful. Um, I got another really nice card. Where is it? And my sister wrote something really sweet in my card as well. So that was my card from my sister. And she uh, she wrote to Emma, my lovely sister. Hope you like your present. You deserve it. And that was from her and a boyfriend. 
she's really cute my mum's card on the other hand well mum and dad but we all know that but it's from your mum and dad it's only ever from your mum your dad has no clue what's been bought she put to a daughter she wish she got this card to a daughter who is classy sassy and at times a bit smart assy i mean can you believe it and inside it just says hope you have a day you ought to have the day you ought to because you're an amazing daughter which is sweet but she was absolutely wetting herself when i opened that and said it was perfect for me i don't know what she means by that at all anyway enough of cards my bestie got me some amazing presents she said to me before i opened it she said it's sort of like everything you need for a pamper and to relax and unwind and just have some time for you so i was really really excited and um i'm going to show you first up some more alcohol because when can you have enough alcohol this is the Fentimans and Bloom, Bloom Gin and Rose Lemonade, which I have tried before. It is so yummy, really, really nice. And she said she got me these, by the way, because they're pre-mixed. So I haven't even got to mix my drink. I've literally got to pour it over ice and it's done, which only another mum would think about that. You haven't even got to mix your drink. It's all done for you. Um, so yeah, I've got that one. And then the other one she bought me was, I have no idea how you pronounce this, a pyre? Opia, no idea but my hubby actually got me the big bottle of this gin for christmas and it's so nice it's like a spiced gin it's really nice i really like it this is um already mixed with tonic and it says with a twist of orange as well which sounds delicious so looking forward to drinking those and then she got me these as well which are gin infusions botanical blends and they are like, I haven't opened them actually, I'll, I'll open them and show you. I think they're like something that I've had before, but not from this brand. Struggle to get in the box now. And if you can see in that, they're like little tea bags. And you basically pour in your gin and then you put in a little tea bag and you leave it to infuse. And it infuses your gin with some flavour. So I've had these before or something similar to this, not these exact ones. And I really enjoyed them. And it's a great way of just spicing up your little plain gin and tonic. And you get four of each flavour. And you've got three flavours in here. Passion fruit and rose, lavender and rosemary, and grapefruit and elderflower. They all sound awesome. Um, really nice. Can't wait to try those. I have no idea where she's got those from. I haven't seen those ones before. But they sound really, really nice. I'm looking forward to trying those. She then got me these, which look amazing. I think they've melted a little bit in the, in the bag. These are Percy's Chocolate Cream Biscuits, Bourbon Chocolate. A rich cream filling comforted between two twill biscuits. So that's those. They look so yummy. Again, no idea where she's got these from. I haven't seen them before. But they sound so nice. Really looking forward to eating them. I mean, does my waistline really need them? Probably not. But I absolutely love chocolate and sweets. I've got such a sweet tooth. Which my daughter has definitely inherited. Right. Next up. I opened it and nearly squealed. Because I was like, oh, face masks. If you're new to my channel, you won't understand the massive addiction with face masks that I have. But I have an enormous face mask addiction. And then um, when I squealed, my friend went, oh no, but it's not just face masks. Sorry, just checking I'd got them all then. So in this little packet, there was this deep cleansing gold peel off facial mask, which I haven't tried before. I haven't seen this one before. It looks like it's got two steps to it. So it's got a cleanser and then you peel off mask, which sounds pretty good. Gentle yet effective cleanser gel developed with lemon and cucumber. That sounds really refreshing. And then you've got your gold peel off mask, which has got lavender oil and botanical extracts of calendula and honey to help nourish. Sounds really nice. I'm not very good with peel off masks because I'm like this, constantly touching to see if it's um, dried and whether I can peel it off yet. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. So that was the first one. Then I'd got this which strangely enough i've been meaning to pick some of these up to try these are the palmer's coconut oil formula 
deep conditioning protein pack for dry damaged or colour treated hair so everyone knows palmas don't they from their cocoa butter moisturizers so when they brought out their hair care ranges i was like oh, really interested in those i need to try them and just haven't got around to picking one up yet so she's got me one of these hair masks which is great because i'm desperately trying to grow these tresses at the minute so this is formulated with ethically and sustainably sourced ingredients which is great the coconut oil is fair trade there are no sulfates no parabens no mineral no gluten no dyes which is great and this is quite a big back packet i think there's like 60 grams in here i reckon i could easily do two um treatments with this so i'm really looking forward to it you only need to leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes after you've shampooed and then rinse or you can use it as an overnight mask which is good you just need to put a plastic cap over your hair and then rinse it out in the morning so if you've got really dry damaged hair then that would be great as an overnight mask I'm excited to try that one then she got me these moisture glove masks for your hands which at the moment my hands are really bad like the skin around my cuticles is really dry and I've just not seem to find the time to put any cuticle oil on so hopefully these will help it's infused with shea butter and jojoba oil you get uh, one pair in there and yeah i haven't tried those before i've tried hand masks before but not this one so this looks really nice looking forward to trying that one as well and this one was the one i was really excited about so this is a face mask and this is like a self-heating eye mask i have had one before but i've not bought one since i think i got one in a subscription box maybe but i took it away with me when i was away for training with work and i used it on the on the night in the hotel and it was so good so it's a self-heating eye mask which will relieve tiredness, eye strain and many other earthly tensions. The warmth comes alive as soon as you open it to make sure you're fully reclined and ready for lift off. So it heats up as soon as you open the packet and it's out into the air, it starts to heat up and it says drift off as you enjoy approximately 15 minutes of otherworldly warmth while your mind floats in space. So yeah, really excited for that one. I'm going to save it, but I don't know what I'm going to save it for, but I need to have like a proper pamper session and then put that on and fully relax. So yeah, those were all my masks, so I was really happy with those. And then on the front of the masks, the little mask um, present, I'll just get rid of that sellotape that somehow I managed to stick in the box. There was this lovely little bath balm, which is by Dirty Works. What scent is this? Oh, it just says infused with Dirty Works signature scent. I'm not sure what that is whether I'll be able to work it out. Can't really smell it through the packaging, but who doesn't love a bath bomb? My kids love a bath bomb, so I have to hide it from them to make sure they don't use it. So yeah, that's my little bath bomb. And then the last couple of presents she got me, she got me a book. And she also got me a flexible book light, which I have seen these and I've never really thought about getting one, but it would be perfect for those evenings where I quite often wake up in the middle of the night and really struggle to get back to sleep. And this would be perfect. You clip it onto your book and I presume that the light won't be too strong so it shouldn't wake up my hubby and I can then read for a little bit and drift back off to sleep. So I really like this and um, it just takes little batteries you clip it onto your page, you can adjust the brightness and you can read at night. I really, really like that. That's really cool. And then the book she got me was called Mine. And she said it's like a thriller, um, but a thriller with a woman, I think, as the main character. And we were discussing this when I opened it and we were talking about it and saying, you know, quite often thrillers are all about men. It's always a man as the main character. So I think she'd purposely purposefully looked for one um that was about a woman and it says my client my lover my lawyer my obsession um it sounds like it's got some really good reviews i'm really looking forward to reading it i might take this on holiday with me and see if i can get through it i do love a good thriller um i like reading a lot i do read all of the time so a book is always always a good present for me i've got nowhere to put it my little table is full and now we're on to the last presents. These ones are from the kids and my hubby. Uh, first up, they got me some chocolates because 
like I said, I've got a massive sweet tooth. So I've got sweets, biscuits and chocolates. I've got me some Maltesers and some Dime Dairy Milk, which are yummy. And it wouldn't be a birthday present if I didn't have a big bottle of gin. So this is the Copperberg gin, which is strawberry and lime flavoured. And I hadn't seen this before. I think it's probably a bit gimmicky for a gin. Uh, Copperberg obviously aren't normally gin makers. I've obviously jumped on the gin bandwagon. Everyone is loving gin at the moment. But I do like Copperberg strawberry and lime um, cider. So hopefully... Well, I say hopefully. I've already opened it and had one glass, but I think I put a little bit too much gin in. It was quite strong. So I think this is going to be really, really nice if I don't over pour next time. Yeah, so that was one of my presents off them. And then I also got this perfume, which is the DKMY Be Delicious Fresh Blossom, which is really light and floral and yeah perfect for summer so really nice little fragrance so that was off the kids and the hubby we also went out for lunch for my birthday went to um miller and carter and had a lovely steak so that was very nice and then this is the pistol resistance so my naughty naughty sister spent way way too much money on me she said when I opened my present and was like no that's too much you shouldn't have it's too much she said you always buy loads for the kids you're always spoiling the kids and you deserve to be spoiled which is very sweet of her and we are very very close so she got me something that I have been lusting after for a long long time and I never really thought I would get but she got me the Dyson supersonic hairdryer she even got me one that wasn't pink because pink is not my colour really. It's not something that I'm into. I'm not very pink and girly. So she got me the grey and black version and it was very naughty of her. But I am really, really grateful. This is an amazing, amazing hairdryer. I have used it a few times. It is so powerful but yet so light, it's unbelievable. So I always get powerful hair dryers, I always get the AC hair dryers, but they're usually so heavy. And when you've got a lot of hair and quite thick hair, it is a hard, hard task drying your hair. But that hair dryer has just changed the way that I dry my hair. It's so powerful that I can't even use it on the most powerful setting. And if I've got anything lying around on the surface where I'm trying to dry my hair, it just blows it completely off. It is super, super powerful. I absolutely love it. And she's so, so naughty for spoiling me. Um, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, I've forgotten some presents. I've just realised that I've got other presents that I haven't shown you. I had some money and some gift vouchers, but there is a present off my parents, which they gave me mainly money, but there was one present that I asked for that I've forgotten to bring up because I did have it before my birthday. But I will go and get it now and show you what it was. I can't believe I forgot this because I was so, so excited when um, I got it and I did ask my parents for it. If you don't know, we've been... Um, having an extension on the house, we've had a new kitchen and a little living area, but I really, really wanted a label maker so that I could label up all my storage jars and containers like a complete saddo. Um, but this makes me happy. <laughs> and if this makes me old, then so be it. But this is a Domo label maker and just some refills. And it's one of those that you just click around to the letter, press the button and it comes out like a um, black strip with white embossed letters which is just what I wanted, just the look that I was going for. I absolutely love it, I love it and it was such a cheap present and when I asked for it my dad like looked at me like I was crazy and then he was like is that all that you want for your birthday and I was like yes I really want it, can I have it early please so I can label all my jars and so that's what they got me and then they just gave me some money because there wasn't anything else that I wanted to ask for. So yeah, that's what I got for my birthday. As you can see, a lot of gin, well, a lot of alcohol, um, some sweeties, chocolates and uh, biscuits and some pamper things, some masks and a good book and a label maker, how random. 
and a really expensive hair dryer so that's what I got for my birthday I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed I'd love to have you with us I'm desperately trying to get to the 1000 subscriber mark and if I do hit it um, before Christmas then I'll be doing a big giveaway I've got a load of things that I've saved up and put aside for a giveaway it will be a big one a mahoosive one so please click the subscribe button so that you've beaten for a chance of winning that when we get to that milestone um, thanks for watching guys I hope to see you at my next video I'll see you again soon bye